Yellow Dock. Yellow Dock is considered by many to be an invasive weed that they struggle to get rid of once it takes root in their garden. How differently they might feel if they knew what a useful food and medicine plant it is. Yellow Dock, also called Curly Dock, can be identified by its long green leaves and wavy leaf margins. It could be confused with horseradish, as that also has wavy leaf margins, but that is much rarer to find in parks, so you're less likely to come across it. It's also more massive looking than Yellow Dock, and its root, should you get that far to digging it up, is white, unlike Yellow Dock, which has a vibrantly mango-coloured yellow-orange root. Yellow Dock belongs to the buckwheat family. Its young leaves and seeds are edible, and are enjoyed as spring and winter staples in many parts of the world. You can also identify clumps of yellow dock by the dried old flower and seed stems that remain standing tall, dried and rust-coloured throughout the winter and into the following year. For medicinal purposes, we use the root, and it's best to use roots which are at least one year old. The presence of those old brown stems will tell you that the plant has been there for at least the past year. Yellow dock root is a very useful remedy for conditions that affect the skin due to inefficient digestive and liver function, and especially if you suffer from constipation. And by the way, if you don't go for a poo every day, you're constipated. Itchy skin, acne and eczema are all conditions which might benefit from yellow dock. Yellow dock is also a good source of iron. To prepare yellow dock, first find your yellow dock plant and dig up the root. It is usually very long and can be quite a challenge to unearth the whole thing. Once you've got your root and cleaned it thoroughly, chop it up finely. Lay the chopped roots on a baking tray one layer deep and place in an oven on a very low heat for at least two hours until the roots are completely dried, though not burnt. Store the roots in a clean glass jar and label. To make a decoction of the roots, take a good amount of the dried root, place in a pot Add two cups of water, cover with a lid, and bring to the boil. Turn it down slightly and let simmer for at least 20 minutes. Turn off the heat, strain and drink while warm. It will be very bitter, but try to drink it without adding any sweetener, natural or otherwise. Its bitterness is its medicine.